welcome back to the lounge with Annette. Today is Floss Tube Sunday, and this is episode nine. So today's video is going to be about my progress on my whips, and then I have um, an update on an old project, and then I want to share how I found out how to handle a confetti when you have nothing to uh, ground your stitch and how you can end your confetti stitch and is there anything else and maybe some purchases update yeah purchases update okay so let's get it started okay let me um get my app together bring up my app and we shall get started as soon as I get it together. All right, so first up on the progress is called Orange Beauty Lady. And this is on the screen, you shall see where I left off last month, which was April the 14th on, on this project. And this is where I am today, which is May the 19th. And this project here, I am enjoying, I'm still enjoying, but this color brown and black and all of this color is very hard for me to stitch. It is hard to see where I need to stitch because of the brown and the black blending in together. And the confetti in this one kicked my butt, is kicking my butt. So, but I ain't no punk. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to knock that confetti out and do what it do because I really want to finish this project. It is turning out very beautiful. I love the color of her skin. I love how it's blending. I, I just love how it is turning out. So I can't wait to see the rest of her face. Right now we are, I am currently in her hair. So that's the project there. Let's get to the stats. Okay. So the stats of this project is that I've completed 5,260 stitches. I have 26,540 to go, and I've completed 16.54% of this project. And again, I am having a ball with this project. I love it. All right, so let's get to the next project. Let me pull that one up. The next project is another... Um, oh, you know what? Let me go back. I forgot to show you something with the other project. One moment. Let me go back. I wanted to show you how many stitches I've done since April the 14th. All right. Let's get back. Okay. So let's go back to April. Okay. So, um, April the 14th, it was the last time I, I stopped on, I, well, I actually stopped on the 8th. But the 14th is when I, I I took a picture and showed you on the screen. And then I picked it back up on the 15th. So this particular project has my stitch count goal daily is 150. And as you can see, I've reached it most of the days. I took a couple of days off because of the confetti was beating me up. And as you know from the last video, I'm rotating my project. So one week I work on this one, the next week I work on the other one, and the next week I work on the next one. And so on and so on. So that's April. And then I picked it back up on the 6th. And I kind of reached my goals. But again, that confetti is for real. So I took a couple of breaks because I didn't want to get burnt out um, on it. And then I just picked it up again on the 18th and hit my 150 stitches goal. And then um, it'll go back in rotation again I uh, think on the 27th. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's tomorrow that I'm going to be back on this one. So yeah, I'm going to start this one on the 20th and I'll work it the whole week. And then I'll go to the next project, which we are about to do now. Okay. And the next project is my love. Let me get to the stats first and then I'll show you the project because I don't want to forget to do that. Okay. So I've completed 5,215 stitches I have 17,285 still to do, 
and I've completed 23.18%. Okay, let's get into, again, um, I, I took the picture on the 14th of, of um, oh, you'll see that on the screen as well, of where I stopped, and then I worked it this week here, and on this project, my stitch goal is 250, and as you can see, I've met my goal and I skipped a day just because for rest and stuff like that. And then I picked back up, excuse me, and continued. And let's see. And in May, I didn't do anything on it because I guess it was in rotation and I just didn't touch it. All right. And that's it for my counted cross stitches. And now let me show you where I am. And here is where I am. And on the screen, you should have seen last month where I was. So I love this one because one, color blocking is my favorite way to cross stitch. Yes, confetti is challenging, but um, color blocking is my favorite. All right, so this one, you know, we'll get back in rotation right after my first one okay so let's put that one back okay so my last one that was in rotation is a stamped cross stitch oops sorry about the noise and you'll see on the screen where i stopped with that one and here i am here is my oops do i got a bat upside down there we go. And here is my progress. I am totally having fun with this. I love the colors in this one. You get a you get a taste of a lot of colors. You get black, you get orange, yellow, blue, pink, green. I love it. So I am totally having fun with this one. And this, I love this, this stamp cross stitch because the symbols are clear. They're not blending into each other. And my stitches are looking great. So yeah, that's where I am with that one. And again, this one will, this one, I don't have a, um, a, a stitch count on this one. I just stitch to be stitching until I get tired. And um, yeah, that's that one. All right. So now I'm going to show you an old um, project and I'm going to give you an update on it. Okay, so if you've been with me for a while, you, you might have seen it. If not, this project was one of the projects I started when I first started cross-stitching. And, um, and I stopped because the symbols were starting to blend in on each other. And it was really hard to determine which stitch belonged where. And I've come to the conclusion that I am going to absolutely stop this one because I am not having fun doing it and it's actually going to be trashed. And um, it's okay. I have plenty more and I didn't like the, the I didn't like the way my stitches was turning out because of that issue because you don't know which stitch belonged where and I would some of my stitches were, getting skinny because I was trying to fit them in and I didn't, I didn't feel like uh, dealing with all of that. So this is an old project that will be trashed. So say bye, bye. And that's all I have to say to that. Okay. So I did learn something new about confetti stitching and I'm going to try to make a video on, on what I've learned. But basically let's say that you have a stitch like in this area here let's just say okay let me just bring up the stitch can you see the stitch okay let's just say you, you don't have no place to to tuck your stitch there so what i've found out is that you come up the middle of this stitch and then go back down at another angle of the stitch and then you can come back up and then clip it that way or stay when you go down and clip it that way. Again, I'm going to try to show a video of that. If not, then I'll try to find a video that I watched and link it, but don't hold me to it. 
<laughs> because I watched so much stuff, it probably got lost in the sauce. Okay, so that's that. And I did purchase two um, stamped cross stitch from the company called Wadabiz. And I per they, they also do diamond paintings, but they started um, doing stamped cross stitches and counted cross stitches. So I wanted to give them a chance on a crown on a um, stamp cross stitches. I don't have them yet, but when they do come, I will do an un, I will do a reveal of them, but I did purchase two and I downloaded a free counted, um, a free counted one from them. And I'm going to try to show you real quick what it looked like. And you can find them on Facebook. It's Wadabiz. I'll have their information either going across the screen or in the description box. But if you can see, that was their free, their free pattern. And I took the opportunity to, to download it. When I'm going to do it, I don't know, but I have it. And is there anything else that I've done for my floss tube? Hmm. No, I didn't. Other than the two from Waterbiz, that was the only two that I purchased. That was the only thing that I downloaded. And that's about it. So I want to say thank you so much for watching my floss tube. That's all I have for you. And I'll see you next month. Y'all have a great Sunday. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to try to record this um, and show you that method that I, I learned about how to end your confetti stitch. I don't know if you can see it, but my needle is in the middle. It's coming from the bottom. You see that where it's in the middle of my X? So it says to come in the middle of your X, of your stitch right then it says to find another angle of your stitch not where you came through and go back down right so once you bring it through okay it's kind of tough so you got to be real rough with it and it, you can't really tell that you did that and they it, they also said that you can um, cut it off at the end of, I mean, on the back of your stitch right there, or you can come back through in another space if you wanted to. And then cut it this way as close as possible. I don't have any scissors, so I can't cut it, but that's how I learned how to handle a stitch, a confetti stitch. So if it helps, Help you try it out and let me know. I'll see y'all later. Bye.